All right guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. It's been about two weeks since I uploaded a YouTube video, but don't worry, I'm gonna go back and, well not go back, but I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can. I'm really, really gonna push myself to upload three to four times a week. We'll see how that goes. It's just that there's a lot of work that goes into the videos just so they could have this nice quality to them. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put a lot of effort in my videos or on my videos. So I'd rather have quality over quantity, but with that out of the way, um, today we're talking about overload and there's a couple of things that switch, or not switch, but a couple little things that change. And there's some of you guys who are new to the channel and I just thought I'd go over how to use overload. And now it's actually free. Like there's no limitation to how many orders you could process through uh, overload like you could in the past or like it was in the past. So since that has changed, I'm just gonna go ahead and update this video. And for those of you guys who are joining me, this is how you fulfill orders with overload. Okay guys, so if you don't know what Overlow is, Overlow is an extension that allows you to easily fulfill your orders or allows you to fulfill multiple orders without sitting your computer and copying and pasting customer's address and whatnot. Because how it was done back then is that you manually had to copy the address of the person and paste it over to AliExpress. So Overlow gets rid of all that and it automates that. And you have to also download the extension. So you're gonna have to use Chrome in order for it to work. You can't use Firefox or unless you manage to tweak the Chrome extension and make it fit into Firefox or make it compatible with Firefox. There's a way to do that, but I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, so if you guys are using Chrome, you wouldn't have any issue. And if you're not, switch over to Chrome. That's pretty much all you're gonna need it for. As for pricing, things did change a little bit. It used to be that there was a limit on how many orders you could place but they changed that, they got rid of that. It's unlimited for free accounts. So honestly guys, if you're starting off, uh, go ahead and install Overlow just because it's gonna help you. It's gonna cut back in a lot of the time that's spent just fulfilling orders. Uh, when I was starting off and when this was just starting off, it was a pain in the ass to fulfill orders. So now that there's no monthly limits for the free accounts, go ahead and use this right from the get-go. I actually used to recommend you not to start with Overload just because you had to pay for it first or you had to actually pay for it. They had a certain limit on how many orders you could fulfill and whatnot. But since they changed things up, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you guys install it right from the beginning. The first thing you wanna do is obviously go into Shopify. You wanna log in and then you wanna go under apps when you log in and then select overload. It's gonna be one of the first ones that pops up and then select add app and then go ahead and select install app. And that should pretty much install it. It's gonna bring you to this dashboard and uh, this is pretty much where the dashboard of the app is. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna download the Chrome extension. I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys could just click on it and download it or just type in Overlow Chrome extension on Google and it should take you directly to this link. And once you do that, just select add Chrome extension, add the extension, and then it's gonna go ahead and add it for you and you're gonna have this congratulating uh, screen pop up and that's how you know it's added. And you're gonna see it up here on your navigation bar and you don't have to ever click on it or do anything to it. So when you install the extension, you're going to see these boxes pop up on AliExpress whenever you search for a product. So the green boxes means that they, are, they have e-package available to ship that product and the uh, orange boxes means no e-packet obviously. And if you see down here or right here when I hover over the product, you see that the Overlow logo pops up and just go ahead and select that. And that's gonna add the product to your store or to your Overlow list. And then you could import it over to your Shopify store. So once you import the product, just play around with the title, add your own title, make sure that it's something captivating or something that properly describes the product. And then you could add your own collection if you have collections or you could add tags. And these tags are gonna sync or or they're gonna export over to Shopify. Next up, you wanna edit the description and it's gonna just import the description from AliExpress. You obviously wanna get rid of this, just put something sweet into the point. Don't try to overcomplicate the uh, description. Don't try to overdo it and have a whole sales page and whatnot. Just get straight to the point, and describe the product. And the next thing you have to do is you have to select the variants. You could check the variants that you want. For example, if there's products that you don't want on here, you could just uncheck them and only leave the ones that you want to sell. You could edit the name of each product if you guys are selling multiple variations of the same product. 
product. And then for the pricing, you could go ahead and individually change each price. So that's just gonna go ahead and change the price for this individual unit, or you could go ahead and change the price of everything and it's just gonna change the price of everything. And you could also multiply. So if you don't want to give it a certain number or a fixed number, you could multiply it by whatever number you want. And this also works with decimal. So 2.4 works perfectly fine and it's gonna times the price by 2.4. So you guys have the ability to freely just choose whatever you want. So once you set the prices, you have the ability to automate the price change. So if the price changes, it does it for you. It changes it for you on your store. Just make sure that you go to manage auto update settings or the link that you're gonna see under it because it's not gonna let you change it right away. And then just scroll down and where it says auto updates, you could select do nothing for the, um, when the product's no longer available. Uh, you could select unpublish the product. So that's gonna just remove the product completely from your store. You could send an email to notify you uh, when the product's no longer available. Again, it could do the same thing. It could do nothing, it could remove the variant or it could set the quality to zero or quantity to zero. And what happens when you set the quantity to zero is that the product is just sold out. So the difference between remove the variant and set quantity to zero is just gonna be that removing the variant is gonna remove the variant and set the quantity to zero it's gonna just mark the product that's sold out and the same thing goes for all of these just set it to whatever you want uh, you can set do nothing or update the price and compare that price for example if the product goes up by a dollar or by 20 cents it's gonna change the product by 20 cents it's gonna change the product that you're selling it at and the product that it was selling at so basically you are keeping the same profit margin throughout the uh, price change. And then honestly, from personal experience, products typically don't change that drastic. So it's not gonna be like $7, like a product increase and whatnot. Let me clarify that. It depends on your product price. If you're selling something that's like $20, it's not gonna go up by like four or $5. It might go up by like a dollar, a dollar and 20, a dollar and 50, but it's not gonna go up dramatically as opposed to something that is like $400 that might go up by like $10, $15. So if you guys are selling higher end items and the product does go up by a good amount, you obviously you wanna make sure you update the pricing and the compare price at. And then the inventory change is just basically gonna keep updating how many uh, products the supplier has in stock. So if they have 999 and then all of a sudden they have 998, it's gonna go ahead and update that. So I just set it to do nothing. I don't want it to be constantly updating. So once you go ahead and play with those settings, it's gonna save it. And then you could go ahead and select the images. And what I would recommend is go ahead and deselect any images with text on them or anything that doesn't have a clean, solid background. Uh, these images right here that look like product shots, you could use this as a promotional image or something for your ad or something to upload to your Instagram or to the products, to the uh, company's Instagram or to your dropshipping store's Instagram. Uh, but if you guys are only selecting the products to add to your store, make sure they have a solid color background. You don't want to be adding images that have so much things going on or they have this like noisy background. It just doesn't look good. So once you have your images selected, you want to go ahead and select import a store and then just select edit product on Shopify and it's going to bring you over to your product section on Shopify and here you're able to see the product click on it and you're going to be able to edit it like you would with any product or you would if you manually entered this product. So in here you could make all the tweaks you want or you could change it, remove, whatever it is, you go ahead and do that. And then if we go over and preview it, we just see it here. And if we select a different variant, the color, we make sure that it changes. So if you guys are doing products like this that have variants and make sure that when you change the variant that the uh, image refreshes or the, the image fits the variant that they selected just because it makes it easier for the customer to identify a product then it switches so they could see the uh, difference of the products that they're selecting or they could see the difference between the products they're selecting. So if you don't want to add the products directly through AliExpress, you could go through the Overlow app. You just want to go under apps or through your Shopify store, select apps, select Overlow, and that's going to bring you up to this homepage. Then just go under search products. And in here, just search whatever it is that you want to search for. It's basically AliExpress. Uh, so you're going to have a list of all the products. So if we search for the same case, you're gonna see it here and we're just gonna import it by selecting this green button, add to the import list. 
And if we check our import list over here on the uh, left hand side, we're going to see the import list. We're going to go ahead and click on it and we're going to see the product here. And you want to do the same thing. You want to edit the title, the description, select your variants and select your images. And once you have that, you just import it to your store and that's it. Uh, the way that overload is going to work once you get a sell is you're going to go over to the dashboard or inside of overload. You're going to see under orders, you're going to have this uh, yellow icon. You're going to go ahead and click on it. You're going to select order products, but you can watch the video. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, select order products. And once you do that, it's going to do the rest. You don't have to touch it. It's going to select the product at the uh, destination or the uh, shipping address. And it's also going to add a note saying not to uh, include any labels or anything like that. And that's it. All you have to do is just select place order. And if you see up here, we have a little icon with um, the information that was imported onto AliExpress. Oh, and just a quick reminder, make sure that you log into AliExpress before you do this, just so that you don't run into any hiccups. So just make sure that you're logged in before you hit place order or before you um, start fulfilling the order on overload. So that pretty much does it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't hesitate and ask. Either leave a comment down below or you could message me on Instagram at mr.ecom. Links for everything are going to be down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.